Dr. Travis Rose here from Peak Form Health Center, and today I'm going to go through a treatment that we do for plantar fasciitis or plantar fasciosis. So, just a quick rundown of what those terms mean. So, plantar fasciitis generally means a more acute flare up of the plantar fascia area. So, we're looking at the arch of the foot and into the heel bone here. And plantar fasciosis is when somebody's been dealing with it for a long time and the tendon, or sorry, the connective tissue of the plantar fascia starts breaking down, actually becomes degenerative. So, in cases of plantar fasciitis and fasciosis, what we want to do is we want to palpate the area, we want to look for tight spots or any adhesion development within the plantar fascia itself, and then we're going to aim to break those areas down using a Graston tool or we use our, our hands to really manually break down those, those tissues. Um, cl classic plantar fasciitis is usually characterized by sharp pain right at the insertion of the plantar fascia, which is at the bottom. Um, of the foot right into the heel right here. And usually it's extremely painful in the morning getting out of bed. Those first few steps out of bed are really painful, almost like you're stepping on a really sharp piece of glass. And then as you start walking and it loosens up, it does feel a little bit better, but usually remains throughout the day. Go to sleep, wake up again, and then again, it's excruciatingly painful again. So what we want to do is address the plantar fascia and then we also see good results when we work into the calf musculature and into the Achilles tendon. There's some fascial connections between those two areas so having uh, having an effect into these muscles can alleviate some of the symptoms on the bottom of the foot if there are tight spots through here. If this, if this area is really healthy and, and uh, the tissue feels normal, then we focus more so on the bottom of the foot here. So I'm gonna change the camera angle here so we can get a good look at the foot and we'll show what uh, grass and treatment and some, um, some manual therapy to the foot looks like for, for dealing with plantar fasciitis and fasciosis. Okay, so when treating plantar fasciitis, we're going to work the whole plantar fascia. So the plantar fascia inserts into this medial tubercle of the calcaneus or the heel bone here. And then it comes up into the arch of the foot and then towards the digits of the, the foot. And it kind of splays out into uh, the metatarsals here in the forefoot. So we're gonna address that whole area, try to loosen up any tight spots into this area here. And then we're going to really dig into this spot, which can be a little uncomfortable for patients because this is where the fascia will pull at the bone and can cause a lot of pain. But um, the reason why oftentimes plantar fasciitis takes a long time to heal is that there's very poor blood supply here. So we want to use the tool to promote some blood flow and some beneficial inflammation into this area. So that's what we're going to use, or that's what we're going to do by using the Graston tool here. So sometimes it's a little rough because patients are a little ticklish, but it takes just a couple seconds here and usually that goes away. You doing okay? Mm -hmm. And so... I'm feeling for any tight spots in the fascia. So that feels like vibrations or, or some grindy spots that go through the tool. So I know that that's where some fibrosis has occurred. So I'm gonna work all around those areas and should be able to start seeing a little bit of redness coming into the area. So again, we're trying to stimulate those small vessels around the area to get some blood flow. So I'm just working all into those tissues there. So usually we'll warm up the tissues first and then what we can do is actually try to get some motion into these areas. So kind of shorten the tissues and then we'll lengthen the tissues, shorten it again, lengthen it, try to just get some motion between the different layers of fascia and muscles on the bottom of the foot. Now get into the plantar fascia attachment here going to apply some deep pressure and then just grind right at that spot there again trying to get some blood flow in that area and break down the tightness there you doing okay mm -hmm. yeah and we'll just keep doing that there good so already the area is nice and warm through that spot and that's about all we'll do for the Graston treatment here for demonstration purposes. Now we're gonna get into the manual therapy. So go ahead and flip over onto your back. So now, using my hands here, 
what I can do is feel again for those tight bands of tissue within the plantar fascia and I can take a contact there and then I can have passive motion into the area where I can just physically pull back his toes and his foot to get a good stretch into that spot and repeat that a few times working into those tissues or then I can have him do some active motion here. So go ahead and curl your toes down and then I can back up my pressure with my other hand to get a little more force behind it. Now bring your toes up towards your nose and the whole foot up towards your nose. There we go. Applying pressure there. Good. And then we'll repeat that several times. Go ahead and go following that fascia all the way up towards the ball of his foot here. Go ahead and go. Good and back down and go. Excellent.